everyone, this is Sam Myers with RetroTech, and welcome to my virtual test lab, where today I'll be covering the what, why, and how of air tightness testing. So uh, in this presentation, I am going to give a quick overview of the equipment that's needed to run an air tightness test on a building enclosure, uh, and then I'll give a couple of real-world examples to show what kind of issues you can uncover with this equipment. And then to wrap up with, I will uh, demonstrate how to set up this equipment, operate it, and then get the air tightness reading that you need in order to do a full blower door test on a building. In order to conduct an air tightness test on a building, you'll need a blower door. And that's what you see here uh, installed into this doorway. And for those of you that have never seen uh, a blower door in action, what this is is a calibrated fan installed with an, an expandable aluminum frame with a uh, canvas here to fill up the doorway and a digital pressure gauge or manometer uh, that actually serves as the brain of the unit. That's where uh, your fan is controlled and that's where your air leakage reading is displayed uh, once you finish running the test. RetroTech first came out with the touchscreen digital manometer back in 2013 and it's really changed the way we've done blower door testing since then. Uh, these manometers have a Wi-Fi antenna built in so that you can actually run your blower door test off of your mobile phone or a tablet. Uh, and that really frees the tester up to walk around the house uh, with a thermal camera or a smoke emitter without having to run back and adjust the fan uh, anytime that fan speed needs adjustment. So before we really dive in more into the equipment, I wanna talk about why air tightness testing is important and how that can affect the homes that we live in, the offices we work in, basically anytime we're spending time in a building. 